Mike is an undercover investigator working for Homeland Security Investigations, or HSI. He's traveled to the Philippines and has eight days to arrest several women selling their children for sex. Mike has infiltrated a group of online paedophiles and the mothers believe he is one of them. She knows I'm coming to the Philippines and she wants to meet with me so I can have sex with her kids. And she said so, that? Yep. Yeah. For Mike, it's vital that he can rescue all the children they are abusing. Juan will coordinate a meeting between Mike and two sisters who are offering to sell their kids. It's taken two years to locate them. If they turn up, the plan is the sisters will be busted at a private villa just outside the city. Because this is an undercover sting, clearly the presence of a film crew could blow the whole operation. I wonder, should we just turn this off now and then we yeah. can turn it back on when we get in the room? Yeah, because okay, they're out here right now. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, they're there up the front. Okay, cover your camera. Our hidden cameras will give everyone eyes and ears on the takedown. They'll be able to see quite clearly through this alarm clock there's a hidden camera here. So if the transaction happens here, they're spot on. Mike just needs to make it so that the... The two sisters sort of naturally end up here. We'll shut this door and then me, Juan and the others will be in here listening. As soon as the money's handed over, that's when they're going to come in. They're going to detain the two girls and one of our guys is going to pretend to arrest Mike. Mike wants to be taken away quite quickly. But at the end of today, you're glad that you got these people so that these kids aren't being abused anymore and they're continuing this lifestyle. But... We're all very well aware that this is going to be a very difficult day for these kids. I'll be the bad guy at the end of this for sure. It's critical both sisters show up with all their children. If only one is arrested, the other will go dark and her children could be lost forever. The sisters are due here in 15 minutes. They're very close. <sighs> I... I'm in the opposite room, waiting alongside everybody else, and I feel physically sick for these kids. You know, that this will be the day that they remember for the rest of their lives. Two tries. Okay. All right, thanks, man. Okay. I just want to talk in here, not not me or them. So could you tell me uh, which ones I can do what with? Remember, we talk about them. Yeah. She can do what? Okay. She can do okay. Okay. She can do Okay. That's okay. Uh, okay, so how much for um, Are we going to let them here? Uh, you, may, may I for one, me to get her own money? The sisters look stunned as charges are read out. HSI have been waiting two years to bust them, but no one is celebrating. You know, it's emotionally draining. Once they put me in handcuffs, my role is done at that point, and that whole other part kind of takes over. Basically, the kids. Thirteen children are being comforted by a team of social workers Ten of the kids are related to the sisters, 
The youngest is a two-month-old baby. So that's it. Um, I feel totally overwhelmed. Um, it's very painful on the one hand, but you know it's the responsible thing to do. Many survivors of this type of abuse suffer from post-traumatic stress, suicidal tendencies and substance abuse. They are unlikely to ever go back to their homes. Mike has also gathered intel on perpetrators in over 80 countries, with most coming from the US and the UK. It's very easy to hide your anonymity when you're doing these crimes. When you think about it, all you do is sending a payment, you're watching a video that gets deleted, it's someone in a foreign country. Who's going to investigate you? Who's going to find you? But what I can tell you is that there's a long list of people that I have that should be very nervous if they're watching.